comes right into it. And in the left side of the map, on dual site, we have the player formerly known as... His name has changed, but he was the one and only... And it's also Pambans. Now known as the Count. And there's a shot of him. There he is. You can see his headset changing colors like a chameleon. His headset's like a chameleon. It actually is a chameleon. His chameleon looks like a headset. That's what's going on, on top of his head. That chameleon's special. You forgot. Over here! <laughs> he did the intro for me, man. He's doing my job for me. I'm just talking. I'm trying to make you bad just, jokes. You just like, forgot, man. No, I'm just trying to don't make bad jokes. Don't try and cover stuff. <laughs> you just straight up forgot. It's like... It's like when you're playing and you don't build the first supply depot and you're like, oh yeah, I was going to go command center before supply depot anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually never, I've never tried that, but I don't think that works, QXC. I don't think you can do that. No, you can. It's just not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this map is dual site, obviously. It's a fairly small map. There are normal sized ramps. There's not a whole lot of different areas where your opponent can try to do weird stuff. It's, it's, it's just a very normal map. PvP, there's nothing really special about it. However, the one thing I will say about this map is it's got a very wide cliff all around the side of the base. There's several different locations where your opponent can blink inside of your base. So that really could end up happening. Alright, cool. So that kind of thing might come into play. But again, like you said, games don't normally go long in this matchup. Can you if you make one mistake, the game ends. That's basically what happens. I know on in other matchups people will do like pressure builds and to expand to the gold on this map. Can you do that in PvP? Absolutely not. I mean, if your opponent doesn't scout you and you just keep force feeling your ramp and he just doesn't figure out what's going on, and you like slowly build probes without transferring them, and like all the stars <laughs> align, and like your friend buys you a pizza, maybe. But otherwise, no. No, what, that will never work. How does the pizza help? Well, pizza always is a morale booster. I see. So if the stars it helps have you blink micro. Yeah. Someone should have gotten the count of pizza last. The count night. needs some pizza. He does. If you ever see the count, IRL, make sure to buy him some pizza, um, and you can say it was courtesy of yourself because you bought it for them. Yeah. Uh, if you said it was courtesy of someone else, that'd be kind of weird because that'd be a little strange. They didn't pay for it. That's a little. Strange. But you could do that. You could say it's courtesy of QXC if you want. I'm okay with that. I'll take. I actually don't want to take credit for that, man. That's why not that buying me someone a pizza. Guilty. Yeah, but I didn't actually buy it for him. So you're a bad person, QXC. I agree. <laughs> so obviously both players kind of scouting around now. Puzzle sees no second gas just yet, whereas Bon Bons has seen the second gas. I'm actually a little surprised. Why did the Count leave uh, Puzzle's base so early? I guess he already saw the second gas, so he didn't need to see anything more. Exactly. Oh, four well, gate. When the Stalker comes out, you have to leave anyway. So it is going to be a four gate from the Count. He has counted the four. His highest number. That is his highest number here. He knows no other numbers above four. It's true. Now, the count, he's hes going to try to four gate, but obviously with the new patch, well, it's not that new. It's relatively new. Yeah, the 22nd warp gate nerf. Exactly. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to pull this off, but people have been known Ooh. to still do it. He's going to make a pile down here on the low ground. He just, he's hes going for it, man. This, this actually can really work if your opponent goes for two gas. If you force the force seal out, then you, if you get up the ramp for just a second when warp gates are done, yep. you can end the game. And if he makes a pile on the high actually, ground, this is so tense right now. Um, he doesn't have enough units to kill that pilot. If he makes a pilot on the high ground, this game vision. will end. He's not doing it for some reason. Oh, I'll build a pilot. Uh, well, and now even so, if this stalker stays alive, even if it doesn't, he's going to have to warp in a force field like right now. But he doesn't have vision to warp in. Oh, and the stalkers do get up. Doesn't even matter. The stalkers are in. Oh, and that is that uh, an Artosis pylon? Almost. Oh, that is a... I think that pylon is powering almost everything. But if he, if he still had the Zealot and the one stalker right now... That would be so good. Oh yeah, this is just is, looking really bad for the is, count. He's lost everything. Is he gonna lose here? How did he? How did the? How did? I was gonna call him the puzzle. How did puzzle hold this? Well, basically, if you pull pros, if your opponent has only stalkers and he gets back in a corner like that, things can go really wrong. You never want to micro back into a corner. Oh in wow, PvP. he killed six workers though. That's really big. This um, is true. He has force field at the ramp. Here. I don't know if he can really hold off if puzzle just decides to kill him. Uh, yeah, this is looking really bad. I mean, oh, he's, he's now microing his stalkers pretty well. He's targeting down a sentry. That's it. GG. That's it. Wow. I want to talk I'm, about the game a little bit. I'm like in shock. I don't even know what just happened. There's absolutely no reason why he moved the stalkers up to the top part of the base. Here's the thing about 
when you're doing a four gate with your micro, you have to move forward, you right click on the ground, you move forward, then you right click on the stalker, you move up while you're attacking. And what he did was he moved to the side of the base and he was trying to take out a pylon, but he moved into a position where the stalkers couldn't micro backwards anymore. And when probes surround stalkers, they just can't really do anything anymore. The probes actually do a decent amount of damage to the stalkers, and then the stalkers can't move. And your opponent targets them down, he can micro however he wants, whereas you cannot micro at all. So then you have to warp in zealots, but usually what you do is when you see the probes pull, you just immediately pull back, wait for that round of zealots, and then you attack. The only thing about that, though, is he had one force field. He couldn't have backed down the ramp because there was a sentry there. Yeah, he didn't have to necessarily back down the ramp, just get stay in the middle of the base, no, not, go to like, like not go to the edge of the map you know, where he's like backing up against the corner. Yeah. That was just... I got to say, I just think Bon Bon's is really nervous. I, I just like, like I think he knows better than that. He's been in Code S before, and you just don't do things like that in PvP. I mean, yeah. it, it sounds to me like I know if some of you guys out there aren't like a hardcore pros player, like, well, it seems like just a kind of a small mistake, and maybe, uh, maybe puzzle just micro a little better. No, you just backed into a corner, and the stalkers got surrounded by probes. The same thing can happen if you're forgetting a Terran and SCVs surround the stalkers. Then you just can't do anything anymore, and the Mirage just kill you. Yep, it's true. So that's that. I mean, that was one of the quickest series I've ever cast at the GSL. Yeah, that was quite fast. I was going to say something. What was I talking about before we started? <laughs> oh, professional casual. Oh, right. Okay, all right. So you've got, like, professional, semi-casual, whatever. I'm looking at the screen so I know where the hand is without actually having to look at you. <laughs> Don't be offended. It's I'm not, not a person, man. A bunch of people walking behind us. I think... There's Son actually right there. I like said his name. He like looked over. I was like, "Yeah, I'm talking about you, Son." <laughs> yeah, what's up? Um, so here I've got okay. So hair, casual, casual hair, casual bandana, professional, um, sweatpants, casual. Oh, the I'm not, feet. Are I'm, you not, show I'm, I'm not showing my feet, but yeah. they are casual. I assure you, my feet are casual. Your his feet are casual. Not not what he's wearing on his feet, but his feet themselves are just casual. They are casual. They never get professional. It's like in Tony Hawk Pro Skater, where you can do normal or you can do goofy. Your stance. Yep. His feet are goofy. No, they're casual. <laughs> so, um, if anyone, if any of you guys follow me on Twitter, QXC zero 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 four zeros, um, you would know why my shirt looks a little bit funny. Uh, I thought bleach was detergent, just straight up. Like, the bottles were in Korean, and one of them didn't have any labels on it, so I was like, I'm just gonna... Yeah, he's not actually, like, stupid. He's not like, I just thought detergent and bleach <laughs> was different. Like, I didn't know what that was. And it's like, it's my first time doing laundry. No, there's no labels, and we're in Korea, and yeah. it's different. So I, like, unscrew the cap, and I'm like... Tastes like detergent. So I like poured some in. I was like, that doesn't look like detergent. Why does it taste like detergent? So I was like really confused yeah, at that point. It does get a little weird. And, and then uh, I did my laundry. I like only poured a little in because I was like, this is weird. Like it tastes like detergent, but it doesn't look like detergent. And it smells like like coffee, which doesn't make any sense. And then I took my laundry out and I was like, LOL. Um, so we are going to take a five minute break. We'll be back with Happy versus ASD.